we're here at Try On World's booth. We're gonna check out a little bit of Trove, and we are here with Russ, the GM from Redland City. Redwood I'm so sorry. City. Redwood City. Oh. You got it. I got that wrong. I practiced it and I got it wrong okay. still. Okay, so the cool thing about this is that it's just now out on consoles as of a few months ago. Yeah, it came out in March. It's doing great. People love it. We just re released our Eclipse exp uh, expansion. Fantastic. Ooh, can you talk to us a little bit about the expansion? Because I don't know too much about that well, yet. We did a whole bunch of stuff. We uh, we made stuff, some stuff a little more difficult, the end game a little more difficult. We added... Uh, uh, just a ton of stuff. I mean, it's it's the main thing is we changed the shadow towers. We added, we did the whole eclipse motif. Just a ton. Okay, so I think actually, let's go back in time a little bit. Uh, I played this back when it was just on PC last year. So as you can see, it's a voxel-based kind of uh, adventure sort of MMO almost. It is. It's an MMO. It's a, a MMO RPG, voxel-based, very casual. Tons of classes. You jump in, you play. Very non-intimidating. People jump in. Great community. The community kicks. <laughs> yeah, I go. like that self-censorship. Yeah, nice, nicely the, done. One of the best things is the, the, that struck me was the visuals. And I think yeah. somewhere on the website it says, it's never been so cool to be square. Tell us a bit about the direction <laughs> for the look of the game. Well, right. Well, look at look at it right now. Look at the fireflies. The guy flies. has a hat a that's a storm. <laughs> right? He has a hat that's a cloud and a lightning bolt. That's true. It's, we make every sort of hats. We have, we have uh, I don't know, chickens on your head. We have everything. It's just kind of... Wacky, nice kind mushroom. of mushroom. Um, That's cute. You know, we, we have fun, right? Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, sometimes gaming get a little too serious. And so, uh, how easy is it to like get on and play with your friends now that it's on console? It is a it is a piece of cake to get on. Just it's free to play. Just jump in, get in your friends. There's ways to match up and meet people casually. We have clubs that you can join. You can join. You can belong to five or six clubs. It's just really, really fun to just jump in there and play. One of the great things about Trove is you run these dungeons. When you finish, everybody gets to the top, they jump off, they fly off the dungeon, you fly in formation, you go to another dungeon, it's fantastic. Oh, so good. So it you're is. talking about the dungeons and some of the adventures, what are some of the adventures that players can expect when they go on with their friends? So a lot of our adventures and our dungeons are made by our players, and then we put them in the game. So you'll, I mean, you can get anything in Tro. Right, we have, and we, like I said, we're very, very whimsical. We have a, we have Kandoria, which is an area made with candy. We have a dinosaur land. We have deserts. We have, we have a cowboy kind of western themed one. We have everything. So you can have, if you can, if you can, if you can think of it, it's intro. So I love, you told us all about the little hat options here. Talk yeah. to us about the bunny. How do you get pets? Okay, you, you can get pets and allies in the game. Um, how do you get pets, uh, Kumar? Let's bring in Kumar, he knows more. How do you get pets? Uh, pets? Pets, allies. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mayday, pirates. mayday. We're you can getting chased get them for the parrots in the uh, treasure aisles. Yeah, so. we, have, we have these pirate, Help, uh, I need these pirate parrots Ouch. you can purchase them from. We have bunnies, we have little dinosaurs, we have little computers oh, that follow you. Well. Just fantastic. Ah. Nice. Duck and weave. Was that hat made by a, was made by a, a player? Yeah, that's a player. That's made a player-made hat. And then they public. Then we look at it and we say, "Yeah, we want to, we want this hat, and we publish it." All right. Well, that was a close call. I managed to get away from the giant wasps. Okay. So we're standing here at the booth. We've got this amazing inflatable dragon, clearly from Tro. Like pterodactyl. Yeah. Yep. That's the big. That's the giant dragon from Tro. Dragons are important in Tro. And so, that's one of the dragons you can earn. One of the elemental dragons. You, you can't really see. There's a guy on top flying him. So you fly on your dragons. That's yeah. an awesome. I need that. I need that in my life. All right. So that's not this. So Trove isn't the only game that you're, you have at the booth here. We've also got we also got Atlas Reactor right here, which is a turn-based strategy battle arena. It's pretty interesting. It's it's like I said, it's hard to explain. We want to show you that one. That one released last year. We have Defiance, which was uh, the game we did with the with uh, the TV show Defiance. We have Arc Age, and we have Rift here. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe walk through the booth a little yeah. bit. Now, this giant pup, this is from Atlas Reactor, correct? That's from Atlas Reactor, and Pup's one of my favorite cla characters. He's a, a, a front, he's not a front, he's a DPS class. He kicks ass, and uh, he's, he's, a, he's the main guy, if you've ever seen our video, he's the star of the show. All right, Very so let's go ahead and move on into dog. here if we can. Almost excuse my dog. This might get a little cozy for, for our camera oh, crew. Come Spaniel. on, gentlemen, okay. come along in. After you, sir. Let's move on in here. Here we go. Man, that's a great photo op right yeah. there. Very Please. nice. Pups okay, awesome. so you said Atlas Reactor is uh, turn-based. Let's go ahead and like, oh, let's, uh, oh, yeah. no, you can go ahead and take a photo. Okay, so it's a turn-based strategy. It's uh, kind of like a battle arena. And so what you do is you play the game, uh, everybody does their turns, right? And then the computer does it at the same time. Everything's sequenced out. 
Yeah, it's pr it's pretty amazing. So you basically plot your turn, you plot your move, everybody plots their move, you say go, and then it acts it out in turn. Nice. It, it, it's 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 very cool because it's synchronous. It's it's a it's a game about strategy, about thinking ahead. It's like chess on steroids. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get like scooch over here, maybe get a little bit of uh, the the action on screen yeah, here. If we so can get some over the shoulder views. So when developing a game, uh, you have to choose between real time combat. What was your what was the reasoning for going with turn based? So one of the things we wanted to say is we wanted to make a game that didn't require you to have twitch reflexes. Like everybody, if you're in a MOBA, there's a certain cap. Like me, I don't have the physical ability or dexterity to do play a MOBA really well. So we wanted a game where it's just mind-based, just just being how, how, how much you can think forward, how intelligent you are. Ooh, right? That's good, yeah, good choice. Okay, yeah, so let's get a little bit of... Hello! <laughs> this is uh, Atlas Reactor behind you, and this is, uh, this is the lead designer for Atlas Reactor, Will Cook. What's your name? William Cook. Well, it's great to meet you. So he was just telling us a little bit about the strategy behind the game and the desire to create something where you don't have to have those lightning uh, lightning reflexes. You know, it's not a StarCraft, it's not a MOBA. So um, he told us kind of some of the basics of the gameplay. Can you tell us a little bit about the classes? Sure, we've got three types of classes. We've got frontliners, we've got firepower, and we've got support. So your firepower are going to be your damage dealers. Your frontliners are going to be your tough guys that get up in people's faces. And the support are going to be the people who shield, heal, help the team out, force multipliers, that kind of thing. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Okay, so is this the type of game you would play? This is the type of game, it's not actually traditionally what I would play, but I think looking at it, it strikes me as something that I would love to try because I, I'm always looking to expand my horizons. So, in mm -hmm. turn-based, I haven't played a turn-based game in so long, but this looks really cool. I like the, I like everything. Can we get a, like a camera over the shoulder, yeah. maybe get some yeah. of the gameplay here so we can see the art style and everything? Okay, and so we've got, ooh, now loading. Okay, let's see what's over here on this uh, this screen here. Okay, can you explain a little bit about what we're seeing? All right, so he's just finishing up the tutorial, so he's in his first 4v4 match, and he's actually aiming a bounce shot off the wall to hit the Space Marine in the back there. So it's actually kind of an advanced technique to hit the exact target he wants to hit. Each character has their own abilities, with, so only that character can do that particular style of move. Right okay. Now, right now we've got the, the resolution. So in this game, everyone chooses what they're going to do at the same exact moment. And then once all the moves are locked in, we see what happens. So we Great. We aim that shot. We have no idea how the actual turn is going to resolve for everybody in total. Awesome. Okay, so you've also got, let's see, I think real quick we can take a look maybe at Defiance super quick. Yeah, this is Defiance. Classic action MMO, right? Full MMO, uh, uh, action base set in the... Uh, Sl near future. Near future. Yeah. Near future. Based on the television show, we did a lot of work with the television show, mm -hmm. and this is basically it's a classic MMO action RPG, right? Guns, more guns, yeah. and third guns. Third-person shooter combat. Yep. It's third-person shooter combat. Uh, it's the the biggest thing about Defiance is you can have you know 100, 200 players on screen at once. Big open world MMO, very social game. Um, all kinds of dynamic events. Just arc falls falling from space, enemy aliens everywhere. Uh, the big aspects of it, you know, fight with guns, third person combat, uh, we have explosive guns, we have like 118 different weapon types. Yeah. Um, the combat is super fast paced, as you can see, and, and again, playing that big community aspect of playing with 50 to 100 people on screen at once is huge. Uh, not something you see in shooters uh, these days. And then it also has the RPG progression systems as well. Oh, that's awesome. You know, I think something that's really cool about Try On Worlds is that all of the games that you that you guys offer are so diverse. That's what I was like, going to say, yeah. Yeah, none of them have anything really in common with each other. What's it like to work for a studio that's putting out such diverse titles? So the reason that is is because we have this this concept of, of the labs. And if the, the, the important thing for me as a GM of studio, my job is to make sure the talent can do what talent does well. Right? And so we have these little teams that go off and pitch ideas for games. They incubate them for a few months and we say, yay, we want that game, or nay, we don't want that game. But the important thing is, is you have to let talent, smart people be smart. Right? And don't, we, don't pigeonhole yourself saying we only make these type of games. If people are interested in making, you know, who knows, we might make a, you know, a rogue light or something. It's the sort of thing, we, we want to see good games. We, we don't want to pigeonhole, hey, you have to make an MMORPG. Well, that is awesome. Fantastic. I love seeing I love all the that. diversity there. All right, well, I think we're going to wrap up the segment. Thank you so much no for the problem. boot tour, Russ. It was awesome yes, to meet thank you. you. Thank you. So nice cool. to meet you. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of packs. And we love Mixer. Thank you. There we go.